Wow, 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 wow. This is hot off the press. Bibi Netanyahu just gave, Prime Minister Netanyahu just gave the most powerful, impressive, poignant speech at the UN. Viscerating the UN and their bias and their anti-Semitism and their hate and their hypocrisy. But yet while he was doing that, and maybe in a ruse because Hezbollah felt that the Prime Minister is out in Israel, out of Israel, and Israel won't do anything drastic while the Prime Minister is speaking at the UN. While that was happening, Israel used bunker busters, the greatest attack on Lebanon since October 7th. They bombed in the Dachia neighborhood, which is the headquarters of Beirut, the headquarters of Hezbollah, right outside Beirut. They bombed the bunker buster bombs they used to bomb deep under the ground. They destroyed the place. You see the pictures, you see the videos. The place is decimated. And the rumors are that who was the target? Hassan Nasrallah, Yemach Shemo, the head of Allah. Now, it hasn't been confirmed that he was there, but if he was there, he didn't get out. And the rumors is that not only was he there, but the entire, <laughs> the entire military, the entire military heads of Hezbollah was in that bunker. So we haven't found out yet if Nasrallah was eliminated, but he was definitely the target in the most significant bombings of Israel and Beirut in Lebanon, in the Dachia neighborhood, targeting these vile terrorists. All while Netanyahu gave this remarkable speech. And in his speech he says, we will find you wherever you are. You t attack us, we will attack you. We could go till Iran. While he was saying these words, and then pushed away in the middle of the press conference when news broke about these bombings in Beirut, Netanyahu said in his speech that the UN is a dark place. The UN is a dark place, and there's a tremendous stain on them. He spoke beautifully, but the end of his speech was the most powerful. He turned to the IDF soldiers, to the heroes, our brothers and sisters, and he said to them, Chizkuvem to be strong and be mighty and be courageous. Just the same words that Moses told the Jewish people right before he passed away in this week's Torah portion when he called Joshua. And Netanyahu said this from the pulpit of the UN to the IDF soldiers, we're proud of you, we're behind you. Your war is our war. You're fighting for the Western civilization against radical Islam. All while he was saying this, Israel was hopefully eradicating the last shreds of the leadership and the worst of the leaders, Hassan Nasrallah. But it's interesting. Because in this week's Torah portion, its second portion is called Vayelech, and he went. Where did Moses go? Vayelech Moshe, it says, Moses went. And he told the Jewish people, I'm a hundred years old today. And in the second verse, it goes on to say, I can't do it anymore. I can't go in and go out. Moses was 120 years old. It was the last day of his life. And he was telling the Jewish people, I'm about to go. But the question is, why does he say, Vayelech Moshe? Moshe went and he spoke to them. He spoke to them. Where did he go from? Where did he come from? And then he says, I'm 120 years old and I can't do this anymore. What was the message? And perhaps in such a profound way, what Moses was saying was like this. On the last day of Moses' life, after he says these words, he gives the Jewish people the final two mitzvot, number 612 and number 613. The two most remarkable mitzvot. What Moses was saying is, don't say it's my last day, I can't do it anymore, but you still have to go out. Every moment that God gives you strength, that God gives you to breathe, that God gives you to live on this world, is a moment to accomplish. Yes, I'm 120. Yes, I know I'm going to pass away today, but I'm still going to accomplish whatever I could. And maybe even deeper, what Moses was saying like this, we all push things off till the end of our life. Moses knew it was his last day. We don't know when our last day is going to be. Don't wait. If there's something you can accomplish, accomplish it. You know, as I've been speaking the last week, I said there's a new year coming and we can't wait for the new year to come to bring in new blessings for the Jewish people. But there's still six days left in this year. We don't have to wait for victory till next year. Victory can come this year. What Israel's done in the last 10 days against Hezbollah 
As Netanyahu said in his speech, we knocked out stockpiles that they've been stockpiling from Iran for 15, 20 years. We'd eliminated the leaders and their replacements and the replacements of the replacements and the replacements of the replacements of the replacements. And if it's true what I just reported, and Nasrallah was there and he was killed, and every other leader with him, Israel already took them all out. We don't have to wait till the new year. Well, Moshe teaches us, Vayelech Moshe, Moshe says, I might be 120. It might be my last day, but I'm going to do more mitzvot. Yes, there might be six days left of the year, and we can't wait for a new year to come to bring blessings and health and good things. But on this last Shabbos of the year, don't wait. Come to Shul tomorrow. Let's celebrate Israel's eternity. Let's celebrate the prophet.